Looking at movies defines acting as the use of imagination, intelligence, psychology, memory, vocal technique, facial expressions, body language, and an overall knowledge of the filmmaking process to realize the character created by the screenwriter. This list of approaches and techniques that can be applied to acting can be applied by individual actors in varying amounts, depending on the role and the actor. Out of all of these possible variations of types of acting, there are two distinct subcategories, presentational and representational. Representational acting puts an emphasis on psychology, intelligence, imagination, and emotional characterization. Representational acting is based on the Stanislavski system of method acting in which actors strive for realism by drawing on their personal experiences to make a character more emotionally dimensional. Method acting must be used to play more complex characters such as Heath Ledger's Joker and Dustin Hoffman's Raymond given their intense psychological states. Presentational acting puts an emphasis on vocal technique, facial expressions, body language, and overall technical skills. Presentational acting draws from a predefined wardrobe of facial expressions, body languages, and vocal inflections, among other things, to create a sort of Mr. Potato Head character, whose various parts can be mixed and matched to create individual characters. Actors are subcategorized into groups that loosely correspond with their representational or presentational methods. Persona actors tend to employ presentational techniques because their characters are drawn from a template and there is no need to adapt new roles. Chameleon actors have to be more versatile and innovative, so they tend to use representational techniques that require personal research to add new experiences to draw from. The film Dr. Strangelove, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb, directed by Stanley Kubrick, employs the use of both types of actors but uses a heavier amount of persona presentational actors given its more absurd nature and departure from realism. Those Stanislavski followers, such as George C. Scott, were cast. Method actors are generally cast for more realistic drama roles than situational comedies. It is more difficult for a method actor to simulate non-realistic motivations such as a fear of bodily fluid loss and so representational actors were cast for more ridiculous roles. The mention of bodily fluids and presentational acting creates a proper segue to the statement that a strong example of a presentational persona actor is Sterling Hayden. The Arnold Schwarzenegger of the 40s and 50s, Sterling Hayden played roles that did not have a lot of diversity between them. In Dr. Strangelove, he played General Jack D. Ripper, a testosterone mountain of grunts and masculinity who is similar to his other roles where his physical presence and gruff exterior are his strongest contributions to the character. The film's time period also makes it an interesting case study of acting because it was during the 1950s that American cinema began to adopt representational styles. American cinema had previously relied on persona actors whose stardom brought success at the box office. However, as American audiences began to seek deeper characters, method acting became a more popular option and thus came the chameleon breed of actors as well. A film that represents a contrast between its use of presentational persona actors and representational chameleon actors is The Rain Man. Persona actor Tom Cruise plays a part alongside chameleon Dustin Hoffman. Tom Cruise's typecast of persona of arrogance and vulnerability fit the character development of Charlie Babbitt, whose character traversed the spectrum between arrogance and vulnerability by developing from a selfish businessman to a compassionate older brother over the course of the film. In contrast, Dustin Hoffman did 13 months of research on autism to create the character Raymond, Charlie's autistic brother. I worked as a tenant in the mental hospital. There is also an element of irony in the fact that Raymond, a heavily static character due to his autism, is played by one of the most dynamic method actors in the business, while Charlie undergoes a massive character change and is played by a heavily typecasted and static actor. Each method and actor classification has advantages and places where it is more appropriate for use than others. Presentational acting is excellent in comedies such as Dr. Strangelove and representational Acting is better for characters of realistic dramas such as 
Raymond.